What is up, peoples of YouTube? I'm the Motorcycle Mick, and today we are looking at these Rogue Rider Industry SIGs. Now, in today's world, drivers are getting more distracted and people aren't paying attention, so you need to upgrade your game, get some LEDs. So let's check these things out. Let's go. That is crazy. That is crazy. Now, some of you might know who Rogue Riders Industries is, some of you might not. They're a new, newer, I say newer, but yeah, newer LED company on the market that makes badass LEDs. And they're a great quality, and they have some features that outshine Custom Dynamics in every aspect. And if you guys don't know, I have the Custom Dynamics LEDs on my bike right now, and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of them just so you can like see the benefits of it and also some of the other stuff that comes with them. These things are awesome from every review I've seen, and now it's time for me to figure out how they are. And uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna put you guys on my head. We're gonna do a little unboxing one of these, and then we're gonna get installing them on the bike, and I'll walk you guys through that. Now, these are the Black Label Edition, and guess what? They're still about half price of what a Custom Dynamics light is, and just, that's their basic model. Like, these are high-end ones. These are the rear ones. If I'm gonna show you guys quick unboxing, I'm gonna pull that sleeve off. It's like, it's got a nice sleeve on there. And we pop this thing open. It's got instructions on how to install them. And it's got everything you need. And also, if you ever have any questions, they are very avid about answering the phone. So if you call during business hours or if you call and leave a message after hours, they will get back to you and like help you figure stuff out. The quality of these things is freaking awesome. Look at that. Look at that. It's got that nice gel coat on the back. It's protected and it's good. Good connection. And uh, now I want to get them on the bike. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install one half of them and so you guys can see what it looks like side by side with the custom dynamics lights that are on there right now so ready break so real quick editors note your fronts are going to be 1157s they're going to have the two contacts and the rears are going to be a single contact 1156 and that's for most harleys but i want to get these installed i'm going to show you guys install on the front and then we get the one installed in the back and then we can do a side by side with the custom dynamics now when you do install these you're going to need a screwdriver to move this little lens cap i actually found out if you use a little paint can thing it actually works out a lot better. You can hook it and pull it right off. And you can see how I got the custom dynamic ones installed in there, which, uh, I mean, look at that. Look at the quality difference on these right here. Let me pop this guy out real quick. So look at this. I want you guys to look at the quality difference of the custom dynamics versus the Rogue Riders industry LEDs. I mean, that's complete crap. When you have two different ones like that and you're paying the same price for either one of these like get the higher quality get the ones that work better and also installing these is a breeze all you do is go in here figure out where your little dots line up this is important to make sure you get them lined up properly and that's it that's all it is then what you do is give this a little nice little coil and that little seal in here sometimes you might have to trim it but these ones i don't because i already had leds installed in there it's going to coil this around a little bit and then i'm going to take and pop my lens cover back on this and sometimes you do have to get a little extra coil i mean it's an led it's going to have a harness on it and that's just the way it is. Press it back in there, and there we go. See, look at that. Look at that quality difference between these two. This cheap looking LED garbage right here, like this doesn't cut it. Honestly, it, it just doesn't cut it for me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the back one installed in now. Once again, don't forget your little tool. Pop it off. Always pay attention to where that is. Pop it in. Now he did say, okay, so here's what my problem is right here. See that seal? I was told that sometimes, pop this out so we don't damage the light, but sometimes with these seals, You do have to trim them. Take, trim that seal up a little bit. And honestly, the seal sits all the way in there to hold that little cup in. 
So trimming it up isn't going to do anything to the lights. Yeah, there we go. All right, now I'm going to do this again. That just gets plugged in there. There we go. And then, like I said, you got to trim that seal sometimes. It's just the way it is. And that's just from Harley because they put some ridiculous gasket in there. And mine already looks like it was trimmed once by the dealership when they were installing the custom dynamics. So you can see how it's starting to sit back in there. There we go. I did it, guys. Look at that. There's a lot of hemming and hawing and fighting, but you can see the difference in the LEDs on the back. So what we're going to do is I'm going to turn my bike on real quick. So immediately you can see a difference between the Rogue Riders industry lights and the custom dynamic lights over there. They have a white halo that stays lit the whole time with the Rogue Riders Industries. It stays lit with some super bright LEDs, all of them, all the time. And a really cool feature I'm going to show you guys right now is that when you hit the four ways on it, you notice that the Rogue Riders Industries switches from amber to white. And that means it's going to have constant light going. Over at the Custom Dynamics, they have the halo ring shut off and they got the freaking ambers blinking. How the hell is anyone gonna, like, if, even if you have headlights, if you say you're the kind of person that has one single headlight in the front, that's gonna take away light and you're just gonna have a blinker. This adds extra light. Also, these lights add light too to illuminate around you. And right now I've got some tinted lenses on there. And yeah, well, the real cool thing is, I'm gonna take you guys to the back of the bike. And we're gonna take a look at the back brake lights going. Rogue Riders Industry, Custom Dynamics, and we're gonna see the light up test. <laughs> so we're gonna fix it up. I'm gonna get this all set up and uh, let me install the rest of the lights. Now, a quick editor's note they do have a dark smoke lens and the tint lens so what that means is that when you turn off the lights one is gonna look super dark and the other one's gonna be like your normal tint lens now they do have clear lenses too which I have over here but I'm not gonna put clear lenses on my scooter because I like to live on the dark side maybe on the back though hmm we'll see now we got them put on. I decided to go with the darker lenses. You do lose a little bit of light with those, but these things are so damn bright. And also because I have a big ass brake light on the back of the Heritage, I went with the dark ones on the back too. I mean, look at that. It takes away from that extra red and stuff and it kind of makes you like keeping the chrome on the bike. Let's get a view around the bike. It's something to know there are certain models they have it listed on their website of where you're gonna need a load equalizer for which is just a block that goes in there to make sure that the you don't get that fast blinking with leds because you will with certain models i had it listed on my phone my phone died these are awesome lights and they look really cool and the customer service is great go check out rogue rider industries get you some led lights get rid of those garbage custom dynamic ones but that's all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did Hit that big thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I just hit a thousand subscribers and I really appreciate it. And a big thank you to Rich at Rogue Rider Industries. Actually, everyone at Rogue Rider Industries. Big thank you, these are awesome parts. So let's do one final walk around and then I'll get you guys out of here. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Oh, yeah, and by the way, you did see the new seat right there. Yeah, but that's a view for another day. Maybe uh, next Tuesday. We'll see. And as always, I hope you have a great day, evening, night, morning, afternoon, deep, brunch, lunch, nightcap, midnight snack, crumpet, McGriddle, bacon sandwich. And remember to always ride for freedom.
I'm that animal, madman, coming straight out of the trash can But I ain't stopping till I see my name in lights like Batman Turning up best like a yucca hand, hold it back in sandbag And play it close to the chest, I call my bars a mammogram A wild would have been it, to me pop up like the hip was spam Bring a fire in a minute, so my nickname should be Instagram My style if you cringe it, then you crimson leaking dripping And you get fried when I'm spitting, and I got the sauce for dipping